Chief Transportation Correspondent and Pilot May Kay Beeler has an update this morning. May Kay, it's nice to see you. We're still feeling the impacts of the blue screens from last week. I think today is the last day of the nightmare for oh. Delta. They say today will be the last day. So let, let's just take a look at this. So yeah, both uh, CrowdStrike and Delta officials, well, they're apologizing for this horrible situation, the meltdown. Although the technology outage was not caused by Delta or any airline. CrowdStrike's chief security officer says the company has devastated their air, caused so much trouble for customers, and Delta's CEO is apologizing for all the misery and frustration this has caused passengers. The U.S. Department of Transportation wants to know why nearly all the other airlines recovered from the debacle within a few days, but Delta is still struggling with passengers filing complaints left and right all told, Delta's response to the meltdown has affected more than half a million of its passengers. And yeah, as a result, the DOT has launched an investigation into the carrier's treatment of passengers. Okay, so obviously we know that uh, Secretary Pete Buttigieg has, has come down on airlines and, and said, you've got to do more for passengers, but does he have a particular beef with, with Delta right now? Yeah because like I said, they were slow to mm. recover, but there's a reason for that. So this bug affected Microsoft um, products mm -hmm. and Delta over half of their global software is tied to Microsoft. So their crew scheduling system, pairing pilots with flight attendants, that was affected and that's huge. So now they have to do everything manually and it was very difficult to sync that up. That was the main thing for poor Delta. And can you imagine, then the lines, people waited oh, in man. lines for hours and they couldn't get through on the phone. So we know it was a nightmare, but it wasn't Delta's fault. But Secretary Pete is like holding their feet to the fire, come on now. Now, if you remember in April, I reported on this, there's a new rule that if you are delayed more than three hours or your flight is canceled, you must get automatic refunds. Hasn't gone into effect yet. It'll probably go into effect within the next few months. Now, airlines can honor that. Now, they have the choice. Mm -hmm. And Secretary Pete is saying, come on, honor it. But they don't have to. It's kind of up to the airline. But he's kind of saying, come on now. Now, listen, if your flight is canceled, they must rebook you. They must. But if you say, I don't want to be rebooked, they have to refund your money. Oh, wow. Is it huh. difficult? Is that a difficult process? I mean, when I mean, you're frustrated. Let's start with that. Mm -hmm. I, I, are you doing it on your app? Are you waiting in line? Are you using whatever communication means you can to try to get it done as quickly as possible? This is a pray. headache. I think you pray. No. <laughs> yeah, for you, right. <laughs> start there. How do you do it? Well, right now, this is unusual what we're going through. Sure. And again, this is supposed to be fixed today or tomorrow for Delta. But in the past, airlines would give you a voucher rather than automatically refund you, mm -hmm. you'd have to get on the phone and wait for hours and hours. And people oh, yeah. say, oh, I'm pulling my hair out. It's not even worth it. Now it's going to be automatic, but this should take effect. If it hasn't already, the airline has the choice, but it will be mandatory within the next few months. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where we are, but it's, it's just frustrating because can't, passengers can't get through to anybody, not on the phone, not in line, not on an app, probably, they say go to Google oh, and check your flight. Wow. And May Kay, we, we are running out of time, but real quick, you said they have the choice there. So, so what is Delta doing to make things right? They're doing vouchers. They're doing food. They are refunding. Okay. They're doing everything they okay. know to do. It's just been slower.